Behind me is Mostar, Bosna Herzegovina. Let's go down and let's explore. Sometimes when you travel, you come across unexpected or amusing things. And this was certainly the case. As we walk towards the bridge, the old bridge, which was the goal of this trip, we walked through a park and there was a large gathering of well-dressed young people and probably their parents from the looks of it. And later on we were told that this is some kind of a graduation event. Unfortunately, a communication problem, so we didn't get information about what it really uh, entailed. Was it the after graduation or before graduation? But I would suspect since it's since it was at the end of the day that it was probably after graduation and people were ready to celebrate and to party. Well, it was certainly interesting to see all those people happy. This is the river that divides the city and it's called Neretva. And it certainly has more than one bridge, which we are going to see hopefully soon. It's about a couple miles from here, so first we have to walk through downtown and we will see if there is something interesting along the way. There is certainly quite a few places where you can get some street food, ice cream or a lot of souvenirs. No doubt we are getting closer to the tourist attraction here. And I can clearly see that we are getting closer and closer to the famous bridge. There are more and more tourist shops and restaurants as you can see. So maybe now is the time I'll start talking about the bridge. Stare Most Old Bridge, also known as Moster Bridge, is a rebuilt 16th century Ottoman bridge in the city of Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina that crosses, as I mentioned, the river Neretva and connects the two parts of the city. The old bridge stood for 427 years until it was destroyed in 1993 by a Croatian Defense Council during the Croat-Bosniak War. Subsequently, a project was set in motion to reconstruct it. The rebuilt bridge was opened in 2004. Ah, what do we have here? A happy couple. Congratulations. But I have a question. Why on earth would you pick a bridge as a background picture for your wedding photo? After all, it was destroyed. On the other hand, it lasted quite long, 400 years, but maybe it's symbolic in another way. You have many bridges to cross, or maybe if you are unlucky enough, your mother-in-law will help you. Who knows? Just kidding. Best wishes and good luck. So, finally, the famous bridge. The bridge is considered an exemplary piece of Balkan Islamic architecture and was commissioned by Suleiman the Magnificent in 1557. I assume that he was the ruler of the Ottoman Empire. The bridge spans the Neretva River in the old town of Mostar. The city is the fifth largest in the country, by the way. And the bridge is humble-backed 40 meters wide and 30 meters long and it is 24 meters high. Two fortified towers protect it. Locals call them the bridge keepers. Construction began in 1557 and took nine years. Little is known of the construction of the bridge. Thought to have been made from mortar made with egg white. Upon its completion, it was the widest man-made arch in the world. Just imagine that. Newspapers based in Sarajevo, and now I'm going back to the 30 years ago or so, 
reported that more than 60 shells hit the bridge before it collapsed. Croatian general and sentenced war criminal in attempt to absolve himself and his military units from responsibility and prosecution for the destruction of the bridge and other crimes committed during the war, published a document how the old bridge was destroyed, where he argues that there was supposedly an explosive charge or mine placed at the center of the bridge underneath and detonated remotely, in addition to the shelling which caused the collapse. Most historians dismiss these claims and disagree with its conclusions. After the destruction of the bridge, a spokesman for the Croats said that they deliberately destroyed it because it was of strategic importance. Academics have argued that the bridge held little strategic value and that its shelling was an example of deliberate cultural property destruction. Given that mosques, synagogues and churches in Mostar were in proximity, the old bridge was targeted for the symbolic significance it served in connecting diverse communities. Well, it's certainly an interesting history and uh, I think it was destroyed just uh, for no reason, uh, no strategic reason I should say, and it's a shame. It was definitely worth visiting, even though I had probably set my expectations too high. So I would say today it looks better in pictures than in real life, which is kind of strange. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.